Welcome to the advice show, media with the common sense approach. So a lot of times when we do the police stories, people say, where are the good cops? They're never around. Well, this is a story of the good cops and these good cops are doing their job and they're exposing the corruption within the NYPD or how they violate people's civil rights and how they target certain people because they can get them arrested because they have arrest quotas. Let's go ahead and roll the clip. On the streets in certain New York City neighborhoods, ask about police quotas for arrests and summonses, and this is what you often hear. Here's a quota system. There always has been and there always will be until someone changes it. Y'all see that? That's what they targeted. Yeah, take a seat right yeah. here, guys. Front row is set. These NYPD officers, all currently on the job, say it's true. They've all worked the streets, the subways, and patrolled housing developments. The department says there are no quotas. Well, I could tell you, I'm a police officer, there are quotas in the NYPD. Are they lying? Absolutely. It's illegal for them to admit it. They come from different precincts, largely minority neighborhoods in Brooklyn or the Bronx, but their stories are remarkably similar. They tell you this to your face. Black and Hispanics between 14 to 21, they must get stopped. They're plaintiffs in a federal class action lawsuit that claims the NYPD is violating a 2010 state ban on quotas, speaking out together for the first time. At the end of the month, these officers, whoever don't have that arrest or those few summonses, they're pressured to find something. You might not see nothing. You're supposed to be visible. You might not see anything, but you go hunting, like bounty hunting for an arrest. Locking up some, some old guy, some homeless guy, finding somebody who's riding a bicycle on the sidewalk, who's spitting, and you bring him in. The problem is when you go hunting, when you put any type of numbers on a police officer to perform, we are going to go to the most vulnerable. The most vulnerable. Of course. We're going to go to LGBT community. We're going to go to the black community. We're going to go to those people that have no vote, that have no power. If we start doing what we're doing in midtown Manhattan, a phone call to the mayor's office is going to be made. That's going to be the end of it. We're the predators, they're the prey. The worst thing you can have is a police officer that needs an arrest for the month. So you're all minorities. How does that make you feel? It's, it's horrible. This is something coming from the top that trickles its way down. And this is why we are all here today. We first interviewed Officer Edwin Raymond last month. He says he's been recording conversations with NYPD officials for the past two years in an effort to prove alleged quotas and retaliation against cops who don't rack up numbers. They're breaking the law. Raymond's claims elicited this expletive from the police commissioner. Bull is it? Bull is my response to that. The commissioner insists his policies are focused on the quality of arrests and summonses, not the quantity. The officer's attorney. Is the commissioner lying? Yes. Commissioner Bratton is lying. How can you prove this? I can prove it with testimony, with recordings, with documents. All they want us to do is go out there and lock them up. They told us it's, 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 it's easy to get numbers out here because you, you work in this type of community. Are you arresting for stuff that you shouldn't be arresting for? Well, that's why we're here. We don't do it. We refuse. And because of that, we are retaliated against. Because you're not harassing people, you're being punished. You know? And it it doesn't make for a great work environment because they want you to harass people. The lawsuit claims minority officers are punished more severely than white cops for failing to meet quotas. The city denies it. And the community are suffering the most. Because? Because the pressure, because the quota. Because the police department is like a whore pretending to be a lady. That's what they are. Are you worried? You know, this is a big step to come forward like this. It's not easy. It's not easy. Um, we are the enemies. We are the people that nobody talked to. The culture of the department, we are the rats. That's how they call us. They are, we are the rats that speak out. It takes a lot of guts from a rat to stand where we stand, knowing that our career are basically over the second we speak against such a mafia. Because the, the police department is a mafia. It's a, it's a big organized mafia. You know, at least for me, I want to thank every officer that's taking this stand. And it needs to be more and more people like you. It is sad that these officers are doing their jobs the right way. That police commissioner, the way he responded to that question, just let me know that what they were saying were true, that they are guilty of having arrest quotas. Now, you want to go target black people. You want to go target Latinos. You want to go target the gay community because you feel that they don't have the backing like a lot of whites in the affluent areas of New York. That is wrong and that is sad. 
But this is confirmation to the people in New York, what you already thought they do have arrest quotas. You remember when the department of justice report came out about the Ferguson police department, how they was ticketing people to get revenue and how that goes on all over this country, how cops are pressured to write tickets so they can bring in more revenue for the city or how some other departments want them to have so many arrests so they can move up the ladder uh, for promotions. That is sad. Why do you want to arrest people for? I don't understand that. Your job would be so much easier if you just get the people who are doing wrong, not harass somebody. So because these police officers don't want to harass people and want to do their job the right way, you harass them. You call them a rat. You call them a snitch and want to retaliate against them for doing their job. You heard the other officer say it. If you're 14 to 21, they're targeting you if you're black, if you're Latino, or if you're part of the gay community. That's what they pointed out. If you are a white person within a fluid area, they're not going to message you. You're okay. You see how these people are and you wonder why we constantly keep calling them devils. Only devils do evil like this. Only devils destroy people's lives. Only devils steal the best from people's communities. How many cases have you seen in New York alone where they just lock people up and they've been let out after 30 years and they didn't do nothing at all just because they were poor and didn't have proper legal representation or you got them to confess to some bogus thing that you didn't even have on them. How many times have we seen that? Because every time we see this is poor people is going through this. You never see affluent people going through anything like this because like the other officer said, they go mess with them uh, white folks who are affluent. They get a phone call real quick. But you can go mess with a black person. That's fine. You can go mess with a Latino. You can go mess with a gay person. That's cool. This is according to what they're saying. Because they feel that they're dis disenfranchised enough with finances that they can get away with doing this stuff. And none of your federal government say a word about this. And once again, let's keep pointing this out. This is a supposedly progressive city, a progressive state. We got Chicago in the other video. Now we got New York totally democrat you can't have no guns you can't have nothing but yet the police is running wild out there doing what they want to do targeting people this stuff about police targeting people having, having uh nothing new especially for the black community they've been targeting us ever since they inception you remember the slave patrol that's how the police started in this nation was a slave patrol they the sheriff's badge that they wear is the exact same badge from the slave patrol and after the slavery ended, they switched over to municipal police departments and the NYPD is one of the oldest police departments in the nation. So this situation is going on. It's like they're just trying to catch slaves so they can go lock them up and put them in prison for, for these people that's earning a lot of money on private prisons. Thankfully to Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton that a lot of you love so much. It's documented that they have brought in mass incarceration into this nation. A lot of these Democrat and progressive areas that we notice in are the most oppressive people that we have ever seen. And don't think I'm some conservative. I don't get down conservatives. So they don't like black people. So that's why I don't get down with them for the most part. I'm not saying all of them don't like black people, but their rhetoric, they just don't care about us like that. Like I said, we need to create a new party. We don't need no Democrat or Republican anymore. We can't deal with them because they're two sides of the same coin. I've said that so many times, but the thing is this, the people in New York, you have the information, you have the brave officers. Now, what are you going to do about it? Cause we can say, see, that's messed up. But if they keep doing it, what good is it going to change? You guys need to definitely change your leadership. You guys need to bring uh, federal cases against the NYPD. You need to force your president to do something about these police departments. You need to force your justice department to do something about these police departments because this time out for these people getting away with oppressing people. We saw a video we just posted the other day about them putting a guy in a so-called uh, bag so he won't hurt himself, but yet that guy wasn't deserving any of that. All NYPD. They just going crazy out there doing this stuff to people. And y'all need to stop oppressing people. You need to stop treating people that way. Because the people, a lot of people in this country are angry right now. Leave people alone. That's what I'm trying to tell most of you. Leave people alone. Be like those officers. Don't bother people. Just do your job if somebody's doing wrong. That's it. Because the mailman video we saw and all these other videos is coming up out of New York, a progressive state. We can keep saying that, a Democrat state. 
is just something that's not going to end up good for you. What if the people say we're going to do a strong economic boycott or worse? What are you going to do? I mean, people are tired. You can't just treat people like your slaves and nobody is a slave in, in, in New York or any part of the America. We have our rights. We have our freedoms. And if you keep doing this, it's not going to be a good thing at the end of the day. Make sure you check out the link in the description box to our the studio we're building is one campaign. We're building a TV ready studio. Check out the description on the GoFundMe and please consider donating. Now, if you'd like to donate privately, you can do it on advisor.com. Click the donate tab. Hit me up in the comments, future commentaries, subscribe.